today's episode... She wants to tell you. Here, you read it to him while I get the... Well, you know. Well, what Sammy means is, we have a little surprise for Linda and Jimmy and Moochie from the kids back in Hollywood. You know, the Mouseketeers. This is a letter from the Mouseketeer gang. I'll read it to you. Dear Annette and Sammy, we Mouseketeers hereby delegate you a committee of two to admit Linda and Jimmy and Moochie to honorary membership in the Mickey Mouse Club. Yippee! Wow! Linda and Jimmy, come on out here. Well, where's Moochie? I don't know. I don't Moochie! Where are you? Hey, Moochie! Have you seen him? He was here a minute ago. Moochie! Oh. Mom, have you seen Moochie? Oh, there he is. Come on out. Hey, what do you mean? Shh, come here. Moochie McCandless, didn't I tell you? Shh. Excuse me, Mom. They want me over there. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You are. <laughs> okay, Annette, let's go. Step right up. Step, Step right up. up. Here's your hat. Here's, Here's your hat. hat. What a hat. What a hat. Here's your ears. Here's your ears. Reach right out. Reach, Reach right out. Time is here. Time, Time is here. here. You're an honorary mouse cut ears. Hey, how about Net and Sammy doing a dance for us? Okay. Little music.
I guess the party was a little too much for him. Oh, gosh, I've never had a better time in my life. Boy, when you 4-H guys throw one, you really throw it. <laughs> oh. Good morning, Sonny. Say, you're sound asleep with your eyes open. Hi, kids. Oh, Here you are, honey. Good morning, Mr. Kenworth. Ah, that looks good. Well, Sammy, what do you think? Well, about what? The milk business. You think you know enough about it to run a dairy farm all by yourself? You mean when I grow up? No, right now. Now? Yes. How would you youngsters like to run the farm all by yourself for one day? You mean milk the cows and take care of the calves and do all the rest of chores and everything? Yes, sir. Everything. Gee, I don't know, Mr. McCandless. Sure, why not, Sammy? It'll be fun. How about tomorrow? It's your last day here. Well... Okay, Pop. It's a deal. All right, as of tomorrow morning, you youngsters are in charge of the whole shebang. Right, Sammy? All right. It's a deal. fun running this place all by ourselves today. Where do you try it 365 days a year? <laughs> okay, back it up so we can unload it. Do you think we dare go to town and leave those youngsters all by themselves? Well, sure we do. They're doing fine. Don't you think you should let Polly help them? Those youngsters don't need any help from anybody besides. There's nothing left to do with the milking. I don't know. Listen, you wanted to go to town for a new pair of shoes all this week. This is your big chance. Everything's still under control, eh, Polly? Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. You haven't been helping those boys, have you? Me? Oh, no. I just sneak a little peek at Susie. See how she make out. How is she? Oh, I think she'll hold off till tomorrow. Well, I hope so. I wouldn't want the youngsters delivering a calf all by themselves. Well, you keep an eye on them, just in case. Yeah, yeah. But we run out of bailing twine. I guess I'll run down and get some quick. But I'll be right back. That sounds like a good idea, Polly. We'll be home early. We're gonna have a storm. Yeah, I guess so. Gumballs. Clock is getting big. Yeah, calves grow awfully fast. They can stand up when they're only two hours old. Not any of this you can't. Well, he's hungry. He needs some milk for his kittens. Oh, it's time to go catch himself a mouse. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Oh, no. 
I'm trotting out there to some ride from the cow. Hang on, sorry, Moochie. For Pete's sake, why don't you look where you're going? Turn up the tractor, Sammy. I'll get the horn. Come on, Charlie. Golly, what next? Okay, we'll be there as soon as we hook up the emergency takeoff. Well,